Get Your Rock Out here at Hammerfest. Guys, why don't you introduce yourselves for us? Uh, I'm John, I'm the bass player for Baden. He's John, he's the bass player for Baden. I'm Bill, the guitarist. I'm Dan, I'm the vocalist guitar. I'm Bill, the drummer. And I'm very squished. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> nice oh, to meet you. I know your mum, I think. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Brilliant. And so guys, for people who haven't heard of you before, why don't you just tell us a bit about yourselves? Ah. <laughs> ah. There's nothing out. I don't know what there is to know. It's right. just uh, old, thrash. old school thrash mixed with the new new school as well. Really? Yeah, but we're an old, old school thrash band from Dunstable in Bedfordshire. Um, obviously, our names are Baden. We're a four piece. We've been a four piece since we started out in 2007. Um, we've been going and going, and then eventually we found the correct lineup with like losing members, gaining members, and just moving on. Um, we've got an album out on Rising Records. We're currently an unsigned band. Uh, the album's called Sentence to Death. You can buy it through uh, Plastic Head Distribution. So you can buy it at Tesco's, Asda, HMB, Play.com. It's uh, pretty much sold out on uh, on Amazon, which is fantastic, you know. Um, but yeah, and now we we found ourselves at Hammerfest to play in the Fresh you know, Fresh Lord stage, which is fantastic. How excited are you about playing here? Very. Can't wait. Very excited. As excited as nervous, definitely. As excited as any other feeling and emotion. Has it quite sunk in yet? No. I think I think it will sink in tomorrow. It will sink in tomorrow where I shit my pants. <laughs> Again. 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 But this time it won't be planned. <laughs> No, I, I think it's. Um, I think it will sink in as, as soon as we hear Mutant play, which is obviously the band before us. And when we're watching them sound check as we're setting up, I think that's when. I don't oh know. I'm starting to get chills now. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I, no, I'd, I don't Not know. Much. It's it's extremely extremely exciting. It's overwhelming, if anything. Yeah, you've been playing for a few years now. What's the best gig you've ever played? Oh, good question. Tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> um, Some well, of our that's probably shows. more of an individual's question, to be honest. Well, let's, let's answer it individually. Okay. Um, I think I the first know. time. Don't, 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 don't. It's, it's Nooty Fox. Yeah, that's oh, okay. That's the Footy Snocks. That was a good show. Uh, I would say the lamp in Hull, because yeah. somebody. Not pointing any fingers. Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, somebody was steaming drunk, and it was a fantastic show. It was I'm really, really good. Yeah. yeah. That's what everyone thinks. But we won't find that out tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. No, no drink. No drink tomorrow. Just shit loads of drugs. No <laughs> drugs. Just it says an injection red bull. But, um, paracetamols maybe for the hangover in the morning, but other than that, no. Quite a lot of our home gigs that we do, they're yeah. crazy. Yeah, actually. Our parents go mental. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Especially gigs. when they come back. <laughs> yeah. The best gigs are the small sweaty ones where everyone wants to get involved. No, that's and the everyone. journey up here. Oh. <laughs> Everyone feels connected, then, it's brilliant, the good reaction, it's, it's fantastic, it's brilliant. So I don't want to pull this out. In Cambridge, uh, it's really good as well. Yeah. What was the venue again? Uh, well, anything, Portland that, Dogs. anything that the... Uh, Bum and Trumpet. Yeah, anything that the Cambridge Rock Sox Society yeah, yeah. really put on, I think I think that's fantastic. Yeah, that guy's here, what's his name? Andrew? Yeah. Yeah, Andrew Towler. Andrew Towler? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know who you are. So how about <laughs> Andrew. You Sorry? Um, I think the most disappointing gig we ever played, not necessarily the worst, because we're, we're prepared. Yeah. <laughs> no, joking. Um, is we, we went to a really, really nice um, venue in Doncaster, of all places, oh, yeah. called yeah. The Leopard, and it was a nice place, decent pub, decent stage, decent sound, and nobody came. Literally. Advertised. Because we were on tour, it was the, the promoter as well, basically. It's not up to us to bring people from London to Yorkshire just for half an hour, but nobody was there. And, and the worst thing about it was we were second on. Uh, no, we were first on, bearing in mind there was only two bands, us and the other touring band. And halfway through our set, the sound guy walked out and we were like, where are you going? He's going, oh, we're going home. Going home. That was it. Uh, and I, we, yeah. The weird thing is, we still got paid for it. It was a live band practice. It's fucking yeah. weird. <laughs> But yeah, so that's that's probably the worst gig, most disappointing gig. But I mean, we, I think we played all right. I've been, I I was hammered and I was throwing myself all around. So I had fun. So I guess it was a good gig in that sense. But yeah, disappointing more than anything. I thought I was gonna get mugged every time I walked out the door. Yeah, I was trying to mug him. Yeah. So how about like this time next year? Where do you guys want to be? In that chair. Yeah. This yeah. time but next year. Yeah. We to be wanna... honest, I'd like to be hammered again. Yeah, but on the, Maybe on the main stage. stage. Yeah. Maybe. Or We're headlining this second stage or further up the bill? 
this time next year, I would like to see us on a label. Preferably, uh, label. preferably <coughs> Eric. <coughs> no, it's just where yeah. I'm sitting. <laughs> just, no, no, we um, become a touring band as well. We don't, yeah, we don't just look at this it. time next year. We look at this time yeah, tomorrow, exactly. and we always say, you know, what can we do better today than we did yesterday? Do you know, you know? And Drink we always less, sort of, we always try and push yeah. forward. Always, we always try and think of something ahead to, um, you know, up increase our, up our game or um, just step it up. Anything, any, you know. Yeah, we're cur- we've currently recorded a self-recorded EP, which you will... Uh, <laughs> Pointless recording to someone else, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> we self-recorded. Um, it's just one track so far, but we're looking to put maybe two or three on that. Um, again, we're gonna, we're, the plan is to sort of give us the freebies, because everyone likes free stuff. Yep. It's cost us no I money. know I do. Yeah, it's I know I do. It's cost us no money, so it's, it's all self-recorded. It's at a good enough quality for people to understand what we're trying to get across. Yeah. So that's the plan at the minute, and that's where we stand. Of course, we'd like to get that EP across to you know the, the labels to see what we're capable of and what we're currently doing for them to sort of take us on and go. You know, you guys are serious. You think of what you're doing, yeah. and go from there. That's our plan. We're always, always looking out for the for the next best opportunity for us to take on. Yeah. Brilliant. So, what's it going to take for you guys to think you've made it? Oh, yeah, yeah. I think. I, I think for everyone it's different. Like yeah, this yeah, being it's being fucking painful. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think when we sorry, do you want to start? We'll, we'll go do, this way. We we'll do it individually because I think it's an idea. individual question. For me personally, I don't think you can ever understand that you've made it. I mean, obviously bands like Metallica and Slayer, to some people would assume that they've made it, but I don't think maybe as a band. I mean, I've never spoken to them, but maybe they don't think they made it. Maybe they think that there is further to go, and that I think there always is. And I think if you find that you're happy and you're content where you are, unless that's exactly... Yeah, I think we should have the organs in here. Yeah. Unless you can buy... No, unless you really, really enjoy what you're doing, no matter what stage you're at, I think that is enough to say that you've made it. For me personally, personally to be playing the second stage at Hammerfest, I feel like we've made it, but there's a long, yeah. long way. What? I'm talking to you. <laughs> Pack but in. There's a long... Oh. There's a, there, you know, there is a long, long way to go, but for me to get, uh, you know, for myself personally to be at this level we're at now is more than anything, but, you know, I don't know. I agree. I concur. I concur. New EP name. Yeah. I mean, for me, to say, I don't know, when you say made it, for me, when, you, when you're on that stage and you see people reacting to what you do, singing along, getting involved... There is no better buzz <laughs> on, on this planet that you get Bumblebee. from, from <laughs> hummingbirds. From, from people sing along to your songs, enjoying what you do. If you can get that reaction LSD. and be like that with the crowd, yeah. that's a big that's that's as that's as good as anything gets, I think. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. Oh, it's not about making money, it's not about making millions, it's you know, it'd be fantastic. Well, we're we going to make millions. I oh. thought we were going to have lots of money. That's it. Bollocks. Yeah. No, I, I mean, it would be fantastic to be, all be able to quit our day jobs. I mean, we all work full time. No, I want to quit mine. I ain't got one. All right. Three out of the four of us work full time. And it would be fantastic. No, but in the meantime, <laughs> I'm, I'm happy to work on the concept of paying into my, you know, well, not my band. It's not any one person's band. In paying into the band just to get somewhere and just to... Just to have a laugh, man. You know, for people to sing. Like, exactly. I think we're all on the same wavelength, really. I mean, as you see us in this interview, this is who we are. When we come on stage, oh, we, 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 we're serious. We do our job, we entertain, and we like to please the people in front of us. And I think I, I can confidently slay. Slay? slay? No, we can't. <laughs> I, can confidently, I can confidently fucking I'm say not, I'm not my ear. that people would enjoy our set, definitely. Please. There is something in our set, in all of our album, in our songs, there is something out there for everyone. Yeah. They would I guarantee enjoy at least one song, if not the rest of the album. Thank you very, very much for your time, guys. And we'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow. We really appreciate your time. Thank you.